I'm gonna have to do that. Lewis is a very powerful hurricane, and you can see it's located east of the Puerto Rico, southeast of Puerto Rico, and has a well-defined eye. And it's moving toward the west about 10, 15 miles up per hour. It's a very powerful hurricane. You know, they're gonna get, uh, they're, they're gonna get covered. Uh, There's no knowing exactly which islands Luis may hit. Hurricanes rarely move in straight lines. Their track and their speed are erratic and unpredictable. A hurricane making landfall creates billions of dollars in damage. Even a false alarm costs $1 million for every mile evacuated. It's difficult because when you have people's lives in your hands, you have to tell them that you have a hurricane, but you have to be sure, you have to be secure because you close business, you close schools, you have to move people, and it's a very, very tough decision to make. You know, they're down here at 17.2. Yeah, I know. We're, we're, we're they need the a hurricane warning is what they need. We're going to lose that. Uh, anyway, that's, we're getting it close to Dominica as well. A hurricane warning for the Caribbean anyway, means an opportunity uh, for Herodner. But once that warning is broadcast, all airports in the Caribbean will close. He needs to move quickly if he's to film Luis. But where? I want to show you the. There's the official Prague. It's actually right over St. Thomas in about two days. It's the last flight into Puerto Rico, Herodner's destination, and he hopes that of Hurricane Luis. This is meteorologist John Tui on WOSO, serving Puerto Rico's best and four up to listeners. Now, we're not going to list any hurricane warnings for the area. Hurricane warnings are still in effect. The Caribbean islands are expecting the worst. Luis is just a day away and can still move in any direction. But Herodner is now committed. With the airport closed, there's nowhere else he can go. I'm basically trying to intercept the eye of the hurricane as it crosses land. The reason for that is because the strongest winds, the highest tides, the most torrential rain are all located right around the periphery of the eye in the wall cloud. I bring a barometer with me because it shows me the pressure field as the hurricane approaches. On a chase, of course, you want the barometer to constantly drop. Luis is huge its outer edge already approaching the coast 200 miles ahead of the eye wall. Puerto Rico, only 40 miles across, is a small target for the eye, but Herodner is hoping Luis will make a direct hit. We have a small piece of land where we're not that mobile, so you're, you're a, a speck on the map for the hurricane to hit. We're about as close as we can get on this island to being near Luis. But right now, it looks like it's gonna be curving east of the island somewhat. If I want to see this hurricane, which I do, most people don't. But the storm could slow down, possibly. The steering currents are weak, and then the ridge rebuild north of the storm and push it back in the westerly direction. The rain tearing into the shoreline of Puerto Rico is the cutting edge of Hurricane Luis, a hurricane that formed 3,000 miles from here on the coast of Africa now rips into the Caribbean. Hurricane Luis is a category four hurricane, and probably with sustained winds of 140 or more miles per hour. It's in the top echelon of, of intensity of hurricanes that, that affect land. The devastation that, it'll, that will occur will be maybe not catastrophic, but extreme. Even if it goes sideswipes the island, it's going to cause problems afterwards. Rico has been lucky. Luis's track, always unpredictable, has taken a last-minute switch to the north. The island has escaped the full force of Luis's winds. But such is its strength that even the fringes bring flooding and estimated damage to Puerto Rico's economy of over $200 million. Herodner is philosophical. But the hurricane is now located about 130 miles east of here or northeast of here. It's probably at its closest point. We're getting a lot of rain squalls. The barometric pressure is reading 2963. Uh, it might go down a little bit more, but it's probably at its closest point now. 
We're not going to catch the center of the hurricane, but we're going to get a lot of rain squalls because there's more rain on the back of the system than there was on the east side. The surf is tumultuous. We have the wind coming in on the surf. And it's starting to rain, and I think I better get back in the car. Other Caribbean islands have fared worse in the 700-mile-wide storm. At least 14 people have been killed, and thousands have been left homeless. But Herodner insists that human beings only have themselves to blame, not the weather. It's a, an historical record that hurricanes are going to affect the coastline or any of these islands out here in the Caribbean. History shows that the, the Indians didn't build along the coastline in Florida. They built back away from the coastline, and there's a reason for that, and that's because hurricanes hit there periodically. Oh, I don't like this. I get stuck in there. I get a little momentum up, I guess. That was a good one. I believe that nature isn't violent. Nature is doing its own thing. It's not acting upon human beings. Human beings are placing themselves in nature's way. 